Hey there, electricity generating shoes, a great project, right? You can find a lot of making tutorials on the internet, but will it work? Let's find out in this video. So here you can see some piezoelectric disc. Piezoelectric discs are a type of transducer which converts mechanical energy or vibrations into electricity. A typical piezoelectric disc has two active metallized layers. To get output, let's solder wires to the disc. Here is the first tip, if you use jumper wires or thick wires, it will damage the disc like this. Also these piezoelectric discs are highly brittle. To overcome this, we can use enameled copper wire. The output current is very little so we can use without any extra thoughts. Tip number 2, don't overheat the disc or over apply the lead on the plate. Do soldering as up. To test the piezoelectric disc, the simple way is to connect an LED. Tip number 3. Please choose white color or diffuse red LED. I tried with some other colors but that didn't work for me because of the working voltage and the minimum current required for an LED varies according to the color. So I have connected the ends of the wires to the LED. And you can see the LED is flashing when I tap on the piezoelectric disc. In this step, I have connected the disc to a multimeter and you can see the output. It varies and changes the directions according to the vibration. Here I have bought an adidas shoe with an extra stripe. Then I took the foam base and aligned 4 piezo discs. We also need 2 acrylic pieces. First, I place the piezo on the double sided tape. And this will help to fix the piezo in an acrylic sheet and also act as a cushion. After fixing the pieces, I connected them. I connected two pieces in parallel and then in series. You can refer to this diagram if you want. Now let's measure again and I found some slight increase in the voltage output. In the next step, I made a bridge rectifier using 4 diodes to convert the AC to DC. Also, I added a capacitor to filter the output. After attaching the circuit to the piezo disc, I place the other acrylic sheet on the top of the piezo disc. Once again, I tested the voltage, but this time the voltage got decreased. It is because of the voltage drop of diode rectifier. So some way we failed, but we can demonstrate the concept. So here I have connected the output of piezo to a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. Here I added the lithium ion charger plus booster module. We can connect and charge our mobile phone using this circuit like this. So all in all we can generate piezo electricity by working but we can charge the battery. To charge this battery we need to provide a stable voltage with suitable current that we can achieve by just working. So next time if you see something like this you have to remember me. One more thing, if you find a way to get more voltage or current, please let me know in the comment section. So that's all about today, hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. Thanks for watching, bye bye.